Hi, this is your math professor, Barbara Rademacher, and we're still doing word problems, but these are formula word problems. Okay, the area of a triangular sign is 96 square feet. If the base of the sign is 16 feet, what is the height? Well, you're going to have to find or remember the formula for a triangle, and I wrote it right here. A equals 1 half BH, where B is the base of the triangle, and H is the height of the triangle. All right, well, we're told that A is 96. And we're told that B is 16. So let's rewrite the formula as 96 equals 1 half times 16 times H. And what we have to do is find H, the height of the sign. Well, the first thing you need to do is if you know that 1 half times 16 is 8, it's the same thing as saying 1 half of 16. 1 half of 16 is 8. Of means times, most of the time in math. But what if you don't know that? All right, let's do it on the calculator. One divided by two times 16, enter, is 8. So we're going to have 96 equals 8H. Then to get H by itself, we divide both sides by 8. Because we have 8 times H equals 96. So we have to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division, so that the 8s will cancel out. Now we've got H by itself. All I have to do is figure out what 96 divided by 8 is. And it's 12. So the height of the sign is 12 feet. And I'll put a 12. If I were doing this in my math lab, I would type 12 into the answer box and then click on check my answer and it would tell me how brilliant I am. Okay. All right, let's try this problem. Okay, if you remember high school al uh, geometry, you'll remember that a straight line is called a straight angle, and a straight angle equals 180 degrees. If you take trigonometry, you'll find the reason why. Okay, but until then, we're not going to deal with it. What is true is that this angle plus this angle equal this whole angle, which means this angle plus this angle are going to equal 180. So here we have 15x plus 2, which is this angle, and 10x plus 3, which is this angle. When you add them together, they add up to 180 degrees. Okay, now look at the parentheses. There's an understood 1 in front of these parentheses. So when you distribute the 1 to the 15x and the 2, you'll get 15x plus 2 plus 1 times 10x is 10x, and 1 times 3 is 3. Okay, so we distributed that also. Now I'm going to add my like terms together. 15x plus 10x plus 2 plus 3 equals 180. 15x plus 10x is 25x. And 2 plus 3 is 5. I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides or add negative 5, same thing. 
I'll have 25x equals 175. So this is 25 times x equals 175. I'm going to divide both sides by 25. And I believe 175 divided by 25 is 7, but let's make sure on the calculator. 175 divided by 25. Enter. Yes, it is. It's 7. So x equals 7. So what are we looking for here? We, need, we have two angles. We have angle 15x plus 2, and we have angle 10x plus 3. I need to substitute 7 in both of these because we're being asked um, to find the larger angle, and how can you be sure what the larger angle is if you don't substitute the number? Actually, I think probably we should find out both because probably in the original My Math Lab problem, you are asked to find both angles. Well, what is 15 plus 7? Let's put in 15 times 7 plus 2 into the calculator. I'm going to clear, and I'm going to say 15 parentheses 7, parentheses closed, plus 2, enter. That's 107 degrees. And this is 10 times 7 plus 3. I can do this. 10 times 7 is 70, plus 3 is going to be 73 degrees. This is the larger angle. So 107 degrees. And if the My Math Lab problem were then to go on and ask you about the second angle, you could answer 73 degrees. OK, and this is 107. Let me write this a little better. All right. This little box is the symbol for a 90 degree angle. What we're dealing with here is a 90 degree angle that's cut into two angles. These angles are called complementary because if you put them together you get the 90 degree angle. Alright, so this angle plus this angle are going to add up to 90 degrees. And that's a plus. It's kind of hard to see. But that's a plus. So I'm going to have x plus 2 plus x. And they're going to equal 90 degrees. And here I wrote it down here as well. OK, they add up to 90 degrees. I'm going to have x plus 12 plus x equals 90 degrees. x plus x is 2x. Subtract 12. Subtract 12. Notice I'm speeding up a little bit because we've been spending a lot of time talking about mechanics and now it should be kind of uh, getting ingrained in you and we're just going to kind of go through it. See, 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. And if you don't believe me, if you want to say 90 minus 12 over here, you can certainly do that. 90 minus, we're actually using the minus key there. 12 equals 78. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2, the number in front of x, which is called the coefficient. And 72 divided by, 78 rather, divided by 2. is 39. So x equals 39. Let's check that and make sure it's true. We have x plus 12, which is going to be 39 plus 12, and then plus x, which is 39. 
Does that add up to one, not 180, 90. Does that add up to 90? Let's see. 39 plus 12 plus 39, enter. Yes, it does. It adds up to 90. So we're on the right track. Okay, notice these are kind of short little problems. There's stuff you have to remember here from high school geometry, and since I know some of you did not have geometry in high school, I'm going to tell you the relationships here. These opposite angles are also called vertical angles, um, and vertical angles are always equal. All right, so this angle would equal that angle also. This angle equals this angle. So what we do is we set them equal to each other, which is what they are. 4x plus 42 equals 7x plus 6. And we're going to find out what x is. We have to do that first. This is a mixed um, uh, equation. We have variable terms on both sides of the equal sign and constant terms on both sides of the equal sign. My first job is to get my variable terms together on one side of the equal sign and my constant terms together on the other side of the equal sign. It doesn't matter which way I, I go. If I don't make an arithmetic uh, mistake, I'll get the exact same answer. But I'm going to go to the left here. I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides of the equation. 4x minus 4x is 0 bring down the 42 on the left. On the right, 7x minus 4x is 3x, and bring down the plus 6. Now my variable term, I have one variable term on the right here. I have a constant term and a constant term, so I need to get this constant term over there with that constant term. Since it's added onto the variable term, I subtract it off. I do the opposite. 6 minus 6 is 0. I'm left with 3x on the right, and 42 minus 6 is 36 on the left. 3 times x equals 36. I divide both sides by 3, and I will get x equals 12. Now, what we're being asked to do up here is find the measure of each of the angles. And they're going to be equal, because vertical angles are equal. So all I need to do is find 1. 4 times 12 plus 42. Let's put that in the calculator. Take the easy way out. 4 parentheses 12 parentheses closed, plus 42, enter. They're 90 degrees each. Why do I doubt that? Did I miss copy? Is that really true? OK. Doesn't look it. But whatever. 42 minus 6 is 36, isn't it? 42 minus 6 is 36, yeah. We did the problem right. These angles don't look like they're 90 degree angles, but that's the right answer. Okay, talk to you later.